Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to put together this kit. This could be a long video. I don't know yet. I kind of expect it will be. I know you can't see much here. This is a 4x4 LED cube. So that's four rows, four columns of LEDs connected together. We've got an infrared remote, which is labeled car mp3 we've got our frosted leds we've got some components in here We've got some sort of microprocessor here. We have our circuit board here where all of our LEDs will plug into. And then we have this acrylic piece here which is what we're going to use as an assembly jig for making sure all of the LEDs are in the right place and spaced accordingly. If you are a long time viewer of the channel, you may remember that one of my first ever kits was an 8x8 LED cube, which I never finished because like after two weeks I got tired of soldering the thousands of connections that are required for such a thing. This should be much easier. If this kit turns out to be decent, and I think it will, then the price on this, which is like $14, is a really, really good price. There is a QR code where you can get the instructions if you're interested. We got there, you guys may be able to get it. If not, don't worry. I will put a link to it down below. The instructions for this are actually quite good. Let's go over and take a look at them on the computer. Okay, so as we're looking at this, this is page one, obviously. Step one is solder the MCU pad. What they're not telling you, <clears throat> see this hole here? You need to flip. The microcontroller over so that it sticks through this hole then everything will line up after the MCU we solder in the USB then the four LEDs two touch buttons capacitor the buzzer we flip it over and put the infrared receiver on there. And then we get to the LEDs. So let's start with the MCU. Sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? All right, taking a look at this with the LED or the MCU flipped over through that hole, it's held relatively good. We have a little wiggle room, <clears throat> but other than that, it's not bad. So I'm going to get a little blue tack. Try and get everything lined up as best as I can and then we will blue tack it down Now 
we're supposed to start here. Just looking. Trying to get a nice We seem to be well connected, so that's what we wanted. <clears throat> now to make things a little easier, I'm going to put a little flux on here. Yeah, I know that's actually a lot of flux. Didn't mean to put that much, but that's what happens sometimes. But as you can see, the flux definitely helps. Keeps things smooth. And yes, I'm doing every other one. trying to get a nice clean finish okay they're all soldered now we need to clean up that residue that flux I used is called ruby fluid and it is corrosive so we just want to clean that up a little bit of acetone And then we want to look for solder bridges. Don't see any solder bridges, but number four from the from this end here, this one right there. Doesn't quite look like I got it. One, two, three, four. Everything else seems okay. So our next step, it says, was to solder on the USB connector. This is a USB mini. It shouldn't be too difficult to solder. I'm going to solder one leg first, putting pressure on it. Then we'll let it cool. Do the same thing to the other side on the front. Now 
and we'll do the Mac ones. And these are just structural. Now we can get in there. And do the electrical. Looks good. Next up, we have to do the four LEDs. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Long leg positive. Do here is solder one leg, make sure it's sitting flat as we like it, and then we can do the other one. Looks good. I'll do the other three. Alright, next up are our butt touch buttons here. And they snap in pretty easily. Same technique. One leg, let it cool. Make sure it's sitting flush. Then we can come in and do the other one. I like these snap-in tack switches. They make things relatively easy. One more. This coming Sunday, which is the first Sunday of February 2022, we will be having our monthly Patreon Zoom meeting at noon Eastern. Only costs a dollar a month to join Patreon. You know, help support the channel, get neat stuff. And get a chance to meet your other patrons and just have a little half hour and 45 minute talk. And it's not always about electronics. We're just there to talk. Next up is our power switch. And it's a latching switch. Seems like it wants to go on this way, which is interesting because the other switches went on the other way. I don't know. Perhaps I put the other switches on wrong. It won't matter, but I'm trying to do everything as by the book as I can. 
Come on. Just get these soldered in here. Real nice. pretty good now we have to put in the electrolytic capacitor and what side it goes on so it's a it's a polarized component as well long leg positive Get her soldered in there. Okay, then we need our buzzer. Also polarized, you can see the little plus mark there. So plus there to there. blue tack to hold that guy in place and that'll just about do it for that While we're down here, we need to put our infrared receiver in. And bend it like so. We'll solder that in. And that should just about do it for everything on this board. Now we need to start processing the LEDs. So it's showing us short pin negative, long pin positive, and this is the proper way to bend the short pin. What looks to me like they're trying to show us is that it bends right at the plastic, not with the space. And then the long one has a bit of a space and bends 90 degrees from the short one. So this is my method for getting them all the same. Put the pliers on. Get them right up to that little spot on the leg there. Then just fold it over 90 degrees. You do that 64 times. And you got yourself some bent LEDs ready to roll. I understand this. Get four of these guys out. These short legs go forward. Like this. Then I guess I'm supposed to solder those there. All right. Let's 
see how that goes. Like that. Same thing here. Like that. Then here like this. Then I think we lay in four more with short legs going forward to meet up with the short leg of the ones in front of it. We have to be careful we don't short circuit any of these. So let's start with our <clears throat> let's start with this one. Definitely want to make sure we got our the heights on these pins yeah relatively close to prevent any sort of short circuit. Okay, so now we got two rows of horizontals. We need to get our verticals on there. So I'm just going to place them as best as I can. See that one? Uh, be a bit of an issue, but we got it. There we go. So I'm just pop. No, I think we're okay. Oh yeah, that one popped, but we're all right. All right, so let's solder those together. And you should start to see what we're trying to accomplish by building these grids out. Oh, you sprung apart right at the last second. That wasn't fair. This is going to be the fiddly part. Everything we've done up to here has been relatively easy. Yeah, this is going to be the part that's going to take the most time to get right. Because you're going to have to make absolutely sure that you don't have any short circuits. And yes, I know that one popped apart again. So we'll come back in here. Make sure that solder wick's in there. Make sure it dries good. Hold it. That should be much better. You can see we can kind of straighten these out a bit. So we need four more. One, <laughs> two, three, 
three and four. All right, let me get these soldered up. I'll be back. All right, so we're down to the last for this group, which I just need to kind of get them in place like that. Oh, sorry, bumping the camera. Like that, and that, oh, sorry, the camera's in a really bad spot. What I'm trying to do is just oh bend that up. There we go. Now I can come in here. Like that, sort of. <laughs> and then this final one here. And that is one block of 16. Well, I think that's enough for one video. We've got, oh, pardon me, I keep hitting the camera. We got our circuit board just about ready. I think that's the top I don't know we'll figure it out when we get there and we've got one set of the 16 which will plug into holes in the circuit board so I'd say we're more than one quarter there and we'll do the rest in the next part hope you guys enjoyed this if you did Give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.